isn't a pop it. Yes, it is. It's a giant pop it. See the giant pop? Robbie, you did it again. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft. I'm sick of this. Okay, I have to do something about this. They're just so plain. So I think today is the day that I paint my Robbie's craft corner sign. That way you can actually read it. Only then will it truly be my craft corner. Awning. I made it myself, you see. If you guys want to see how I made it, uh, I actually put a video up on my Robbie Vlogs channel. You can click right here to watch it. But in the meantime, we're going to be painting these letters. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Let's start painting. Woo! Job well done painting, I'd say. Well, you guys, now it's time for the best part, where I uh, where I hang these up. Okay, now I just gotta do the rest of them. <laughs> okay, that is a lot better. And now that we got that done, let's do what we do every day, and that is trying some five minute crafts. Okay guys, so here is our glove. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, draw some cow spots. I'm doing silver on black because I don't have any white gloves, uh, you know? And we all know that cows have silver patches on them. And that's what makes them cows, I guess. You know what? That's enough spots. And now we're gonna fill this with some milk. Be real careful. I don't know how safe this really is because I think there's a powder inside the glove so it doesn't stick to your hands. And I don't know how like okay that is to consume. Now I'm gonna spin this, and then I'm gonna use a rubber band to hold it shut. This way the milk doesn't come out. Oh yes, perfect. Now we're gonna get a thumbtack and make a hole in this uh, glove. And there we go. I mean, milk is coming out. Very slow. Oh, it worked. Oh, it's squirting. No, why is it bubbling up like that? You got it to squirt. You just gotta really milk it. Oh wow, this is great. Oh, oh yes, truly one of my best pieces of work. Oh, I got some on the camera lens. But you know, I really wish I had someone to share this with. Well, it's a good thing I have this magic button that calls the intern. So I actually made the intern sign a contract that whenever I press this button, he has to come no matter what he's doing. Robbie, is everything okay? Yeah, very important uh, job. I hope it's important. I was in the show. The intern got really mad at me and he told me to stop using it for non-emergencies. But I definitely think that this qualifies for an emergency. Well, time to call the intern. The intern's being called. Just then. Where the heck is he? Yo, I got here as fast as I could. Intern, you're uh, 34 seconds late. It was traffic. Uh, anyway, okay intern, are you ready to see why I called you here? Yeah. You just smacked me in the face, what is that? It's, it, I got your milkies. My milkies? Yeah, come here, right here, look at this dude. When you, when you squeeze it, it squirts out milk. Ew, ew, what's up? Can I drink uh, no, I, I definitely wouldn't, definitely don't drink this. Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so. Oh, well you can't drink this anyway. <laughs> well, intern, it's okay. I, uh, I'll make you some more crafts, don't worry. Um, just go hang out in the closet for now. Just get in that closet. But I just came out. Well, I might as well make him something so he's not bored. Nope. Uh. Okay guys, so here's our Rubik's Cube. You wanna watch me solve it really quick? Boom! World record holder, I know! One half second. And here are our poppets that we're gonna be cutting up. Better get at it, I guess. Really carefully, just cut all the poppets individually. I feel like they're not gonna come out very clean, but I'll do my darn best. I'm going to completely annihilate this poppet. It's just the way it works. And there we go, one down. It, ooh, yep, still functional. Okay, this is gonna take me a little while. 
Okay, so we got all that cleared off. Now we have to somehow attach these to our Rubik's Cube. Your guess is as good as mine uh, what they used. I'm guessing super glue. So they got a single poppet. Kind of just uh, put that glue on there. I think these poppets might be a little too big for the Rubik's Cube. Actually, I think it'll work. It's fine. Oh no, it got super glued together. Oh my god. Ah, I can't twist it. No, no, two of the pieces got super glued together. Well, might as well do the rest of it. I'm doing it for the craft. Wow, I have really outdone myself this time. It looks great. Well, let's see what the intern thinks. Okay guys, it took me about two hours to make this and the intern's been in there for a while, so I bet he's pretty bored. And I bet he's gonna love this. Oh, intern! Ow, oh, ow, oh, dude, 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 what are you doing? Oh, you the door. Door. Why are you behind the door? I'm wait I was waiting on you. I was taking a nap. Intern, I know you've been in here for two hours and you're really bored, so I made you this pop at Rubik's Cube. Wow. Dude, you ruined the Rubik's Cube. What do you mean? I would have loved to sit here with them. Can I like still spin it? No, wow. I mean, poppets are cool too. I would much rather have a Rubik's Cube. This ruined it. Why didn't you just give me a poppet? Like you can't even use it. Like it doesn't I, move. I, I can't, uh, I would give you a poppet, but I uh, I messed it up. Dude, just give me a normal poppet. Like at least that will keep me entertained. Oh, fine, I'll make you a new poppet. Get back. Uh, well, time to go make this guy a new poppet. Stay in the closet till I'm done, okay? Oh, I'm so bored. Play with your poppet Rubik's Cube. Okay, guys, so since I ruined the poppet uh, trying to make this poppet Rubik's Cube, I guess I have to try and make another one. And I truly think this craft will make up for it. guys so what they did was it looks like they got a piece of paper and then painted on it instead of doing that I'm gonna get this piece of cardboard and all this colored paper and just cut it into a strip and then cut these bad boys into strips and then I'm gonna need to glue these on with a glue stick paint and school glue 7a Perfect, I found it. Now I'm just gonna leave all this for the intern to clean up. Now that we got our glue stick, time to get to work. Open it up. Let me go ahead and stick it right on there. Looks good. And there we go, a uh, multicolored piece of cardboard paper. Now it's time for us to cut the circles. But uh, before we do that, I'm actually going to draw circles. That way they're nice and round. Perfect little circles. I'm using this lens cap because it's just the perfect size. If you don't have a lens cap, you could probably always use like a soda can. Uh, it's basically the same thing. I'm just using the lens cap because it was the closest thing next to me. Let me go ahead and cut them out. Well, don't need these anymore. And now we fill them with the balloons. Yeah, that looks about the right shape. And a boobity boo. And now we have ourselves a giant poppet. Pop, 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 pop. It's a perfect replica of the one that I broke before. Now let's show it to the intern. Okay. Ow. Do you really not learn? Bro, why are you still behind the door? Uh, this is the only place with a wall to lean on. I guess you're right. Anyway, here's your new poppet. This isn't a poppet. Yes, it is. It's a giant poppet. See the giant pops? Oh. You dude. broke it. No. You broke my hard work. I'm trying to pop it. No, you popped them all out. Dude, more like this one doesn't work. Dude, I just want to freaking Wow, I can't believe it. You messed up the, the, the craft I made you. I'm just gonna rip these off and make my own poppet. What? Yeah. No. Okay, I'll figure this out. Give me one more chance. One second. Oh, oh, hey, intern. What's so, up? apparently, I'm supposed to make you this cute egg shape. Yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. I'm actually really hungry. Yeah, I can tell. You're getting really cranky here. Uh, kind of being a little bit of a butthole. You locked me in your closet. That, <laughs> dude, it's, a, there's literally no lock on here. You could have, you could have left any time. Well, anyway, I was gonna make you some eggs, but I actually did a whole hour and a half long video where I made a bunch of fun egg recipes that you guys can click right here. Uh, so I don't, I don't feel like I really need to make you these, but um, I'm still hungry. There's snacks in my pantry. Go wait. Oh, perfect. Here, come on, come on, come into my pantry, intern. He says he's hungry. I'm gonna show him who's hungry. Yeah, intern, just go in there. Just go into the pantry. Oh, dude, there's tons of food in here. Hey, are you kidding me? <laughs> Mommy, let me out. Time to do this craft. And now it's time to put these bad boys 
boys together. They didn't really say how they put them together uh, in the video. Um, apparently they just kind of go on like this, but I don't really see how that would stay in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and break out my trusty hot glue gun and just glue this bad boy right in place. I'm gonna break out this fan hand so it cools a little bit faster. Oh no, my plates. Well, you know what they say. It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a glue gun. This definitely turned out pretty cool looking, but does it work? Hey, intern. What's up? How are you enjoying those snacks? They're pretty good. Hi, Ben. How are you, Ben? Me and the Ben were just checking up on you, and uh, I wanted to show you this new marble machine that I made. Whoa, you actually look really cool. Yeah, it doesn't work very well, uh, but I, I wanted to give it to you because I figured you were really bored inside this pantry. I am, and I really appreciate it because this is really cool. So it's just like a little slide. Whoa! Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it like jumped out and then jumped onto the bottom one. That was actually really cool. Oh, dang. Here, let me try one more. You know, it's a little disappointing. <laughs> it's pretty, so that's what matters. It's art. Well, I hope you enjoy it, intern. I do. Thank you, Robbie. I'll just stare at it for the next couple hours until you decide to let me out. Sounds good. Also, this door also doesn't have a lock. Oh, sorry, just leave. <laughs> Yeah, so here's our cut. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and cut our wrist straps. That side looks good. Then we flip it over and do the other side. Cut off the extra part. Wow, this watch is really coming together. Now we have to write the numbers for the watch face. Wow, it's so perfect. Then we bust a hole right in the middle. And then we grab some pipe cleaners and cut them down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and twist them together and then shove it through the hole. Looks like our arms are a little too long. Go ahead and cut one of them. Cut the other one a little bit longer. Boom! Now this is a great gift for the intern, but I've been having a lot of fun with the intern, so I don't really want him to leave. So I'm gonna set it to about an hour before he leaves. Oh yes, four o'clock. Don't worry, intern, it's only an hour more. Now he'll stay with me forever. Up. Hey intern. So um I made you this watch. I already have a watch. Well you can take it off and put this one on. Well I already have one. No, you can here. I'll trade you watches. Just shh, it's okay. Just okay, give me the okay. watch. I'll give it to you. I'll give, give it me to the you. watch. Thanks. Uh so will I have it back? Because no, this that's one's your cool, watch now. But it looks a little cheap, bro. I made it myself, Michael. Oh, it came off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, isn't that a snazzy watch? I like the colors on me. <laughs> I have to read it like this, though. Oh, that sucks. But, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. <laughs> well, um, uh, are you still bored? Yeah. But you have a watch. I can't even read it without going like this. Well, uh, you just sit right there, intern. I'll be right back with some entertainment. I'll be back in less than a minute. I'll, I'll keep track of you. Sounds good. Okay, I'll see you in a, in a sec. So here's our box. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut off these flaps. Then we get our Christmas lights. I'm just gonna go ahead and poke a hole in the side. That way I can just shove them right in there. Then we make sure that we can spread them out a little bit. And I'm actually gonna make this shorter because I don't think it needs to be this tall. Oh yes, much better. And then we get our cling wrap and just put it right on there. Second layer, just to be safe. Boopity boop. And then they didn't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and tape up the sides to make it so that the cling wrap really stays on there tight. Yeah, that looks pretty fantastic. And now we add our sand. Like that, guys, I actually paid $6 for this one bag of sand. Why is sand so expensive? And there we go. We have ourselves a beautiful little light box. Now let's try it with the intern. Guys, so it's actually been like six hours since I made this thing, and it's kind of late now. It's like two in the morning. I'm sure the intern will really appreciate it. I'm gonna wait a little bit so that we can really utilize the dark for this. There we go, I just turned it on. Now let's show the intern. Hey intern, how's it going, dude? I think I fell asleep. What? Uh, it's only been a minute. You're right, it's been less than a minute, according to the watch. Dang, it was like one of those naps where like you blink and then you just knock out. Yeah, so uh, I made you this. Um, What's... Dude, what what is this? It's a it's a it's a box um thing. Dude, this is literally just a box full of sand. <laughs> it's a box light, and then you can make you can make shapes with this. Like, Dude. I'll write your name. Look, I'm gonna write it. <laughs> 
C, that's the I, and then that's the M, and then T. I'll turn off the light here so we can really see it. See? Look, just. <laughs> see? Just. Uh, I drew you. Well, in turn, to really let you enjoy this experience, I'm going to turn this light off. So I'll see you later. Uh, just enjoy the dark. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our piece of paper that we're gonna be using for the night light. And the first thing I need to do is come up with a stencil design to put in the night light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this pink piece of paper and just write out the intern's name. Actually, I forget what the intern's name is, so I'm just gonna put intern. <laughs> Perfect, I think you'll love this. Then I get some tape and just tape it right on there. That way it doesn't move while I'm poking holes in it. Start poking the holes. One eternity later. Oh man, this is gonna take a while, isn't it? You know, this looks pretty good, but I think I'm also gonna add a couple little stars. This is a nightlight after all. The intern needs to see stars at night, you see. Boobity boop, boobity boop. Okay, you guys ready to see how it turned out? Carefully remove this. Oh, wow. You guys can't really see it. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yes. The intern. Guys, I need fairy lights for this one, but I totally forgot it was in the last craft. Hey, dude, how you doing? Why? Yeah, uh, I need to borrow that. Why? Dude, that's uh, like my only source of light right now. Dude, I need it you're, for, you're um, sand everywhere. look, I'll make you another night light, okay? The Just clean up the sand where I leave. Okay. Okay. Here, here. Bye, Robbie. Bye, Robbie. <laughs> Bye, Robbie. Well, at least I got the light. 12 seconds later. Now that I got the lights out of this thing, you can use this as a litter box if you want. I got the light out of it. I'm not a cat. Anyway, thanks a bunch. Light! Where am I supposed to aim? Okay, guys, and now we're gonna insert this into our cup. Then we grab some fairy lights and shove those inside of our stencil. And there we go! What a fantastic night light. You can't really even read and turn on it. Oh, I'm gonna try turning off the lights. How's that? You can't even read and turn on it. What a rip off. Well, it's good enough for the intern, so might as well give it to him still, am I right? How long have I been in here? <laughs> Check your watch. I mean, something's up, but it hasn't even been a minute. I know. Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Yeah, so you know how you said you were like depressed or whatever because you didn't have light? Yeah. Well, I made you this night light out of that light I stole from you. So... <laughs> Whoa! It says intern on it. Thank you so much. No problem, dude. Well, enjoy your darkness. No, Robbie, come back. I'm so bored. Come on. Okay, guys, so here is our ice cube tray. Here are our dyes. Go ahead and just add water. And then we start making the rainbow using these dyes. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I'm mixing the red and blue together because that makes purple. But if I'm being honest, they kind of all look like the same color right now. And we're gonna go, oh gosh. We're gonna go ahead and uh, mix them up and add the sticks. I'm gonna cut all of them in half as I put them in. There we go. Pretty good. Now let's put it in the freezer and we'll see how they turn out. The next day. Woo! Good morning, guys! So I sort of forgot to take the popsicles out last night to show the intern. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh, wow! These look very nice. I like it. Good morning, intern! That's bright. Am I dead? No, dude! I, Hello, God. I was only gone for like a minute. Robbie, you did it again. Anyway, dude, I figured you might be getting a little bit bored. I swear you're only gonna be here for maybe another hour, okay? I just wanted you to hang out with me, and I made you these edible crayons. There's some paper for you to try them out. Edible crayons? Like, watercolor. Yo! Whoa! They actually work! I'm like Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. And they're edible. Yeah, they're edible. They're completely... How they taste? Oh, dude, your tongue is so orange now. Is it really? Yeah. It tastes like water. Like, there is no flavor. Yeah, pretty much. That's all it is. This is cool. I mean, I'll, it keep me entertained. I like art. I call this one belongs in the trash. Well, in turn, I'm glad you liked it. Would you say that this one works? Yeah, I'd say that this one works. Okay, well, uh, 
I'm gonna go do my outro now. I'll see you later. What do you mean? Also, you're free to go if you really want to go, because I'm done with yes, the video. I'm done. Bye. You're gross. You're disgusting. I'm never coming back. Hey, do you want your watch back? Oh my gosh. Wait, yeah. never mind. Actually, I'm keeping Wait, it. Wait, no, I'll come back if you give me that watch. Really? Yeah, I'll come back if you give me my watch back. <laughs> give it a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this if I write down there. If you guys think that these videos are funny and you want to watch more in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. I upload videos every Friday. If you guys want to subscribe to the intern, you can click right here. If you guys like this video and want to watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I actually have a whole playlist where I do that right here. And if that doesn't sound fun, you can always click the mystery cards. Okay, you guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Wardani. Okay, bye. Robbie, can I have my watch back? No way, dude, it's mine. mine.